Moore and again over on that far side for Browning. Brandon Fox made a good run down this right hand touch line. That's a beautiful ball to him as well and a good touch by the Swede. Nicks a pass here and now Barlow has a chance to fire one across the face of the goal. It's been spilled by Wogan. It's been cleared away by Alec Boyega. Draw that. Fortunate there to escape without conceding. It was a really good switch of play across here towards Brandon Fogg. His little touch just bounced up. He toe poked a pass Weir, who was caught a little bit flat footed, and Barlow. Sligo again, Sligo Rovers, it's Lucas Browning. Levac over on the far side, and he's been fouled, he did well there. Levac, Estonian, he was a fellow countryman, Bob Van Vastruck, departed the club the week before last. So it's going to be a free kick to Sligo Rovers over on that far side of the field. He's gone forward. Pinacker still stabbing his face with his shirt. Gone forward as well. Morhen and Levac are back mining the house. Brandon Falk to take the free kick from just in front of those Sligo fans. Up goes the left hand. In it comes. It's a great whip on that one. And it's in. It's an own goal, I think. Oh, it was a great ball in from Brandon Falk. Absolutely fizzed it in. Rado Sabalevich is running away, but I think that might have come off a draw the player last. We'll see it again in a moment. But what a ball in from Branafog. We talked about his five assists in the first half. Well, he can certainly claim an assist for that one. A brilliant ball in. Here it is again. And hard to see there. Was it Connor Keeley perhaps that came off? We need to see it. another replay of that one to figure it out. But the bottom line is Sligo lead by two goals to nil. Far the side. Morhen forward towards Max Mata. Markey back to Deegan. Deegan's pass has been cut out by Levac, but he's won it back again. Deegan and he finds Evan Weir well inside the draw to half the field over on the far side now in front of the dugout. They move forward with it. Rooney. Clips one in behind, but that should be McNicholas as well. Pineacker has left the first keeper. It's going to break the foley, is it? It is! Oh, it's a calamitous mix-up in the Sligo defence. And Adam Foley's incredible run of scoring continues. It's six and seven for him now. Andrade United find their way back into this game, and really, that was a gift. Sligo Rovers will be absolutely furious with the manner of that concession. It was a... Hopeful ball over the top, Pineacker and McNicholas almost leaving for each other. McMarkey got the toe in and hit McNicholas, broke for Foley, and he headed it home from six yards out into an empty net. And it's game on here with just over 68 minutes gone. Adam Foley, draw to have won it back. Here's Rooney. Davis is making a run into the box. Foley has it now. He gets the cross in right footed towards Davis. It's a really good opportunity for the draw to play. Is it in? Oh, it's gone in. It's 1 2 2. As well, it was not exactly a classic, but it was a really good reach and a really good header from Warren Davis from that cross. Broke back to Rooney and he finished it. McNicholas, I thought it kept it out, but it's found its way into the net. And Drada have come from 2 0 down here to level it. It was a great knockdown from Warren Davis. I thought initially he was going to try and head it onto the goal, but I think he did just knock it down into the path of Rooney deliberately. And Rooney got in there ahead of Bulger, I think it and, was. Uh, it's been dispossessed by Mark, but it breaks back to a blue and white shirt. It's played forward, and Adi Boyega gets it away in the edge of the box. Came as far as Martello again, but his ball has only come to Deegan. And then McNally can 
scoot forward with this one. He's got such a knack of just slaloming past players, and he's done really well. He's found Davis down the right hand side. Can he finish across the face of the goal? It's a great save by McNicholas. Oh, that was going to go inside at the far post. McNicholas got down to it right, got a hand to it, and touched it away for a corner. Well, what a game we have here now. Lovely ball. Davis in. Nicholas goes back from injury. Man who's uh, hails from not a million miles away from here down on screen. So the Mead man is on. He will slot in there. Just provide a little bit of extra security for Sligo in these last dying seconds of the game. We've had the six minutes, but there will be a little bit added on for that stoppage. Kandrada somehow snatch a winner here. Here's Marky down the left-hand side. Still has it under fierce pressure from a couple of Sligo players. Managed to get the ball into the box. It's going to break for Deegan. And it breaks into the hands then of McNicholas, and that should be that, you would imagine. Sligo Rovers may get one last chance to attack. More and under severe pressure from two players there. That wasn't the greatest of passes to him, but he did really well to step between the two Drada players and get it away. Now here comes Sligo Rovers down the right-hand side. Surely this is the last chance for a winner. That's really good defending from Heaney, who got back to make that tackle. Branafog knocks it forward, but there goes the full-time whistle. It's ended here, all square. An incredible second half, really. Sligo Rovers went in 1-0 up at half-time, and they were good value for that lead as well. It was Stefan Radio Sablievich's fourth goal of the season, which gave his side the lead in the 24th minute. 1-0 to Sligo Rovers at half-time. A known goal from Conor Keeley, just shy of the hour mark after a brilliant whipped free kick from Johan Branafog made it 2-0. Adam Foley pulled one back in the 69th minute after a mix-up in the Sligo defence, and then Dale Rooney got on the end of a knockdown from Warren Davis to level things up. And then we had a frantic finale, but neither side was able to get the winner. Rooney's equaliser coming in the 79th minute, and both sides hitting the deck after the full-time whistle went.